John, you brought a little uh, Worcester plaque here. Worcester, Royal Worcester. Tell me something about this. Well, I used to collect Worcester. Well, I don't collect it now. I haven't collected for 10 years or more. You know, and the uh, sons don't want to collect antiques, so, you no, know, I no. just thought I'd sell some stuff. I like Worcester. I particularly like the plaques they make. And this is by a very well-known artist, uh, Stinton. Yeah, one of the Stinton. Yes. Let me just have a little look at the back stamp on it. Well, there it is, the Worcester mark, and of course you can date it to the exact year, of course, can't you? These I Worcester don't know marks. the year, I haven't uh, worked Well, this will be between 1925 and 1930. Uh, yes, yeah, very nice indeed. So, John, how much would you like for this uh, Worcester plaque? Uh, well, as much as you want. <laughs> as, as much possible. as possible, if you well, can. That's, but, that's, uh... that's what they all say. <laughs> you don't want 50 quid, do you? No. I knew you didn't. <laughs> 100 sounds more exciting, doesn't it? Uh, not really. I think it's worth a lot more than 100. Is it? Yeah. I've lost touch what they're worth these things these days. Uh, oh, the I market's think... been a bit up and down, hasn't it? Oh, I think Worcester will always sell. What about £150, John? Uh, What's I getting close here? Uh, not really. Thought it was. <laughs> I don't fancy it for a lot more than that. 170 No? No. No, we're in there. 190 no, you know we're in there. 200. You're still a good way off. Am know? I really? Yeah. Here's some advice. Well, um, what we've got here is something which is desirable. 250 to 350, our independent values and auctioneers see the same. I think you'll out that on your very fashionable stall. <laughs> <laughs> He has market stores all over at these Procanti fairs, <laughs> yeah. and he's there dappered up mm. like this, okay. and all the ladies come in, Dave, what have you got? <laughs> I've got this, I've got the Stinton, yeah. I've got that, and bang, he's got it sold. Oh, marvellous. You know, he's got those eyes, and, uh, you know, he's got the gift of the gab. You oh. have that away, easy. Yes. I'm going to say, tell him to put some more money down. Uh, well, John, um, he's taught me into giving a bit more. I wasn't going to. I'd want to give you 200 30 pounds, and that's what I'd want to give. So, if you'd rather take it to auction, I'm not offended. That's your final offer. And you're going to say no? No. <laughs> John, you going to auction? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Well, I do like a bit of Royal Worcester, and I'm amazed I didn't buy it. I wanted more for it, uh, and I think it's worth about 300, I would have thought. Will John manage to get his £300 at auction? Let's find out as his Royal Worcester goes under the gavel of auctioneer Richard Winterton. Where did it come from? Uh, I bought it at um, an antique shop uh, quite a few years ago, about 15. Do you know what you paid 15 years ago? I think it was about 250 It is here in the auction. The range is 280 to 300 and the reserve is 280 it's coming up now. Are they going to go for it? Now we come to the Royal Worcester uh, Oval Plat there. Uh, signed by James Stinton. A lot of interest on it. A lot of interest. 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 300 Past pounds. Past the art reserve uh, at 300. 300 pounds, done at three, sold then at 300. OK, 300 pounds. Now, there's some commission to take off there. 255 quid. Are you satisfied or are you disappointed? A little bit disappointed, but, you know, that's the way it goes. And it's... John would have liked to have seen a little bit more, but that's the market, and it's found its level here in the sale room. That's the real deal.